All right, well, basically, um, uh, this was my um, my 15 minutes of fame. Actually, it's only like three minutes of fame. Um, you know, I got an MT MUTV and you know got on live television. So you know, without further ado, here's the video proof that I got on it. Sky Plus, Paddy Quarren show start. Let's go. Go to London next. And uh, Yaz is down there waiting to speak to us. Yeah, Hi, Yaz. me. Yeah, Hi, Yaz. Are we good? Uh, I'm going to get straight to the point. It's going to be short and sweet because um, I've got a bit of course work to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm here to defend um, the centre midfield because yeah. basically on these type of phone yeah. shows, they do yeah. get a lot of stick. Yeah. What do you get from yeah. these, you know, yeah. us Man United fans? Is we don't name any names. Yeah. We don't name any special requirements for these central midfielders. Do you know what I'm talking about? Go on, then. Well, basically, the requirements of a, of a centre midfielder to play for Man United, first and foremost, you have to be able to play in a 4-4-2. Yeah. I mean, who's good enough, not only to be good enough to provide for the attack, but also to cover for the sole defensive midfielder in a 4-4-2? You're talking so about a £40 million pound player there, if you can get one like that, if you're talking about somebody about 21 years, you're talking about... Well, of course, that takes me to my next point, Paddy. I mean, I mean our manager, Sir Alex Bergson, the guff was always talking about this value for money. Are yeah. we really going to spend £40 million on somebody that might not even adjust to the Premier League? Or for that matter, not even adjust to Man United? Well, that, that's the chance you have to take sometimes. That, that's the chance you have to take. If you just see a player that you think is going to do it. I mean, down through the years you can sign loads and loads of players. It doesn't mean they'll all be stars when, when, when they make it. They can come to Manchester United and the thing's too big for them. That can happen. Yeah, of course. I mean, even Seb of Ron flopped and, and look at him. And, yeah, he was a fantastic player as well. Oh, all right then. That's, that's debatable. But, you know, my point is... I like that. <laughs> my, my point is, Paddy, um, the United system has always been get the ball out. Get the ball out wide and, yeah. get, and get it into the box and flood as many players into the box as possible. Yeah. Are, do, are some Man United fans really that deluded and off their rockers that they think the great man Sir Alex Ferguson is going to buy this kind of player like this Pastore lad or this, this Marek Hamsik lad to play just off the striker and change the system just for them. And they have to bear in mind, Paddy, that these midfield that in the Premier League, so many of these teams just look to, to just pack the midfield of two big lads and yeah. clumps out of the creative players. That's I true. Just, I just think, Paddy, now I've been watching Man United since, well, since 2001 because I've been born in, in 94. Yeah. And I've been, you know, I'm, I'm 16 years old right now and the, 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 my whole life that I've watched Man United, we have never had the type of, you know, your typical number 10 type player. Do you know what I'm talking about? You're not, ta you're not talking about a school to take player. You're talking about a defensive midfield player, aren't you? No, no, not defensive. I, I, I like Zidane type player. I mean, Scozzi, he could play in the midfield too. That's what made him different. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, even Zinedine Zidane, whatever, whatever one says about him. Fantastic player. The team at Juventus and the team at Real Madrid, it was completely based around him to the extent that Juventus played three men at the back just to accommodate Zidane behind two strikers. Manchester United are not going to do that. People need to get to grips that Man United are not going to do that. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's I know what you're saying, yeah. Thanks, Yas. Uh, uh, yes, can we help you with your coursework, the by the part. way, Yas? Is there anything, any, any coursework we can help you with? Because you've it's such a good call there. I just wondered if we can help you with your coursework tonight. To do, to do what, Yas? What, what do you intend doing? What kind of coursework? What you can help me with, yeah? Yeah. Um, can you get Ali Douglas to talk to me on Twitter again, please? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, she'll be watching. We'll sort that out. Don't worry. Don't worry. Listen, we really appreciate that. Hey, make me feel old. He was born in 1991, wasn't he? You 94. Know, he was born in 1994. That went straight in that year and came out that year. I didn't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> I did, actually. Well done, son. Yeah, well played. Yeah, I hope your course comes to you. You'll be successful. So, um, you know... That's what it is. Three minutes of fame. Look, there's the evidence. Three minutes.